All right. I gotta wash these. Uh, wash up these uh, collard green dishes. Finally getting around to my chicken pot pie. I got some. I uh, did some diced up potatoes. I did uh, some onions, carrots, onions, carrots, and celery. And I don't have any frozen peas, but I got this can of peas. Uh, cream of chicken soup. Uh, some canned chicken that I did. This is my first time trying it, so I'm going to see how it is. So, uh, I got uh, two pie shells. So I'm going to uh, get this pan hot with a little bit of oil and uh, soften up these veggies and uh, get my little mix together. Put a little olive oil in the pan. And uh, go ahead and throw these veggies in. I need to go get some uh, spices. I don't know what we say. Some salt and pepper and, and maybe a little bit of sage. I have to be careful with sage because sometimes I go crazy. I'll do salt and pepper, sage, and maybe uh, some thyme. I think. Yeah, salt and pepper, sage, and thyme. I don't know if I have any up here. I think I gotta go back here in the back and get some. All right, I'm gonna let this stuff soften up. I'll get back with you guys. All right, we um uh, we got our seasoning. We may not go crazy with this sage, but I have in the past. Everything tastes like sage. We got we don't want it all. We we don't want a sage pack. I put a little bit of this time in there. Uh, I got these, uh, that's why I'm going to make these. I had these pie shells in that freezer for a little hot minute. I'm going to poke some holes in the bottom. I like to preheat mine, you know, get it, you know, cook it before I put the filling in there so it'll be, won't just be like raw dough. But I think I got my oven, I don't know, maybe like 350. My little oven uh, temperature gauge broke off. So everything cook at the same temperature. But it work out. I don't do no bunch of baking. We're gonna slide that in there and let that cook that bottom shell. Alright, let's get some Y'all can't see a damn thing, can you? There we go. Alright. Let's see now. Um, this chicken, it's on the bone, so I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to debone it. We're not going to do all that on, on the video, but it's some of my canned chicken. It's my first time using it. I think it's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to get this chicken off the bone. I'll get back with y'all. This lighter sucks, don't it? I have to whip it around like this when we come back. Yeah, that's a little better. All right. All right, we're back. I got the pie shell uh, out of the oven. The one, the bottom, went ahead and cooked it, it pre cooked it a little bit. I'm going to do this egg for this egg wash for the top. And I'm uh, going to dip this uh, filling in. I hope I got these taters done enough. I should have cooked them longer before I added all this other stuff. But what's a little crunchy tater gonna hurt? Nothing. I have a little bit of this left over. I don't know. We're gonna fill it up. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I believe that's all she gonna. I believe that's about all she want to hold right there. I got another probably ladle full that's in there. All right. Like I said I ain't never made these before. I'm just gonna flip this on top and hope it all come out in one piece. And uh, I don't know. I, I imagine I could have put some more in there. Let's see. I don't know. That's exactly what I want. It's kind of, I'm gonna kind of 
press it down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? All right. I gotta cut some slits in there. Gotta cut some slits in there so it uh, vents. I don't even think I have one of the fancy uh, brushes. I might have to dig around at the shop. And uh, next time I have to do something like this, see if I have, let's see if I can just smear it on here. With my, ooh, ooh be careful there. Hang on, rough and rugged. Rough and yeah, I'm gonna have to get my little tool arsenal up. Say this supposed to make it kind of glisten and be like a, you know, making a nice golden brown. Oop. Somebody making a mess. Who is it? Uh oh, some of it drip, drip down in my thigh. I don't reckon it's gonna hurt me. All right, I need to put a pan underneath because we don't want we don't bleed. It. Cleaning up no spinach. We're gonna set this on top of this pan and set it in the oven and let it go. My, my shell kind of crumbled on me, but it don't matter. I'm gonna cut it anyway. It ain't, might not be the prettiest, but it'd be good. Uh, well, she ain't pretty, but uh, I believe she's going to be yummy. Don't look bad to me. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to let it cool down and set just a minute, then I'm going to cut it. I'm pick out the right spatula. I'm going to let this set up for, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes. And uh, like I said, it ain't pretty, but I believe it's going to be all right. I gotta get down in that bottom crisp, make sure we cut all the way through, so we want our crisp. Crisp be my favorite pork. Any kind of pie. Well, I mean, I like the fitting too, but that crisp would be making. Oh my goodness. I believe it's gonna be all right. I hadn't had one of these in a hot minute. I used to love them growing up, them, them freezer ones, but so much better homemade. All right. I'm believing nothing wrong with that. I'll let y'all know.